Just days after a Macon teen was shot and killed while he was walking to school, family, friends, and classmates gather for a candlelight vigil to honor his memory. 41 NBC's Joy Dukes has more. And we have to worry about our kids anyway. We worry about them out here anyway, but to send them to school and somebody, you know your child will be gunned down and left out here, it, it, it's scary. 16-year-old Javon Sherman is the latest life claimed by gun violence in Bibb County and the 22nd homicide this year. Javon Sherman was uh, on his way to school at Central uh, early Thursday morning when uh, he was shot. Uh, we following all kind of leads right now. We don't think it was a, a random type uh, situation. But to friends and family, Javon was more than just another statistic. Javon was a, a funny kid, just happy, funny, smiling all the time, like snacks he called it. I call it junk food, but he called it snacks. Just a typical teenager that wanted to do something. Dozens came out on Sunday to pay their respects and show support of the Sherman family, including Sheriff David Davis. These, these acts of violence are senseless and that we need to do all we can both in the home and in the school and in the community to make a difference so that these won't continue. Despite leads in the investigation, family and friends of Javon are still trying to cope with the pain of this tragedy. Seven in the morning, my baby was going to school to get his education, doing what he was told, and to be gunned down in this way. It, it, it's sickening. It's sickening and, and, and tired of it. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. His father Joseph says his story is only a small part of a much larger issue in Bibb County. Because it's about Javon, but it's bigger than Javon. I'm hoping that people will see this and want to step up and be more in community. The men, more. The men step up. Red and white balloons filled the air as the ceremony came to a close. But for community and family members, the real closure won't come until there's justice for Javon. In Macon, Joy Dukes, 41 NBC News. Police are searching for Javon's killer. If you have inf any information, contact the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, their number 478-751-7500 or Macon Regional Crime Stoppers one 877-68-CRIME.